what is going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be looking at um, the star module 2 which is um, taking user input so this is the first module from the control flow um, module and input some programs need user input. for example a game may ask for a user for a nickname and show it in the game or a converter may ask for a value that you want to convert so there are a number of ways uh, to take input in Java to take input from the user we first must import the corresponding class that is done using the following line so you need this line before anything import java.util.scanner with the capital S this imports the scanner class, which we will use for taking input. <clears throat> After importing the scanner class, we need to create a scanner object. So scanner sc equals new scanner, and then inside of the parentheses, you have to put system.in. Okay, so if you're confused about the new terminology, classes, objects, import, um, all of those, We'll be learning in more advanced lessons. For now, just remember the syntax. So, scanner, and then you have the name of the scanner. You can name it anything. Equals new scanner, uh, open parentheses, and then system.in, um, and then a close parentheses right here. All right. And then fill in the blanks. So we have scanner, new scanner, and then system dot in. Okay, boom. Okay, and then now we are ready to take input from the user and assign it to a variable. For example, to take a string input, we need to use the following. Okay, in order to get a string, you you need to use this. Okay, string name equals sc um, dot next line and then the parentheses okay um, so we can run the code if you guys would like um, hit run uh, let's see okay yeah so we put an a in our name printed a so that's basically how it works um let's see <clears throat> so remember to import okay and then scanner sc equals new scanner and then we have string right because it's taking a string input and then dot next line and then they already have the parentheses so boom well done okay here we go similarly we can take a integer as input using next int this will accept an integer input from the user and assign it to a page variable these are similar uh, methods available to take other types of input as next double, next float, next boolean. So int age sc dot next int um, takes the next integer that is given by the user. So rearrange the code that takes an integer input and outputs its double. So we have to do, we have to first declare, right? So first you declare the scanner and then that and then boom, the pain, okay? Okay, multiple inputs. If you have multiple inputs, you can use the same scanner, okay? For example, let's take the name and age as input and output them, okay? So note um, that when you run into a program, you need to provide all um, inputs, okay? And here, let's run it real quick. If you run it, uh, first we take the 
name so we'll say John I cannot spell John and then we'll put the age so we'll say 18 submit and boom John 18 okay so now we're gonna continue so the lesson takeaways are going to be um, import the scanner um, by doing java.util.scanner make sure it's capital S for the scanner and then create a scanner object how you do that is scanner um, and then I named the scanner equals new scanner open parentheses system.in close parentheses and then a semicolon and then use the corresponding method of the scanner to take input for example like we've learned um, in the int num uh, next int for integers next double for doubles uh, next line for strings okay and now we're going to do this little mini project um, called tip calculator so here we go <clears throat> you can you always tip 15 percent of the bill amount to make the calculation e calculation easier you decide to write a program that will do it for you Take the bill amount as input and I'll put the corresponding tip amount, uh, which should be a 15% of the amount. To calculate 15% of a number, multiply it by 15, then divide it by 100. Okay. So the input can be a decimal, so make sure it's a decimal. Okay. So we have the, the scanner, right, with the scanner. Okay. And then we'll create a new scanner. Let's call this FS. Why not, right? FS equals new. And then we'll call it scanner system.in. Okay. And then um, the next line is you take the input. Okay. You, you're going to take the input. So how we do that is going to be, um, if you've been paying attention, um, it's going to be fs dot next uh, yeah we can do that let me see okay now we can. I think so we declare it first right we declare the variable first so we put double so double let's say amounts equals um, fs dot next double okay and then we're going to do the system dot out dot print line and then put in um, the number so the amount so the amount times 15 and then go ahead and divide it by 100 and then put a semicolon and then let's run it. Boom, we got it. We continue. And then we'll, just to recap right here is imports, public static void main, uh, new right here, string sc, uh, c dot system dot out dot print line. And voila. So the lesson has been completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys.